hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the post product page and api with image preview and category selection in our angular project in today's video we will work on the get products api which we created in this video and we will call this api from our angular application and then we will show all the products on the admins dashboard so let's get started to start we need to go to this admin service and here we need to copy this get all categories api and we can paste this here and we need to change the name of this method and instead of categories we need to write products and as you know in the backend we gave the endpoint as products so after slash api slash admin we need to give the endpoint as products so in the url we can write admin slash and then product and then our api call is completed so we can save this file now let's go to the admin dashboard and here we need to create a variable to store the products and we can initialize this variable with an empty array after this we can write the method which will call our api and let's name this method as get all products and in this method uh, first of all we need to set the products is equals to an empty array and after this let's create the constructor for this class and in this constructor we need to inject our admin service so we can write private admin service and then we need to import this here now we can call this service by writing this dot admin service and then we need to call our get all products api and after this we need to subscribe the response and after getting the response we need to apply for each loop to our response And in this for loop, we need to attach a string to our byte image, which we are returning from our backend. So we can show it in the HTML file. And to do that, we need to write element dot processed image is equals to. And then here we need to paste the string, which we want to concatenate with the byte image. And after this, we can use the plus icon and then we can call element dot byte image. After this, we need to push this element to our main products array. So we can use this dot products dot push. And then here we need to pass the element. That's it for our API call method. Now we need to create the ng on init method so we can call this method from ng on init and we can get all the products when the page gets loaded. So in this ng on init method, we can call our get all products method. Let's save the file. After this, let's go to the HTML file and design the component. And here, first of all, let's create a div which will contain the product list. And in this div, we need to write the tag for mat card. And I am giving a class of product card to this mat card. And on this card, we need to write the loop code so we can iterate through the products and show the details and to do that we can write static ng4 and here we can use the let keyword and we can name a single product as product 
and after this we need to mention the list of the products which is equal to products in our ts file in this mat card first of all we need to show the image of the product and to do that we can write a div tag and i am giving a product image class to this div tag in this div tag we need to write a tag of image and in the source we need to bind with product dot processed image after this we need to create an other div to show the product details and we can give a class to this div as product details in product details first of all we need to show the image of the product and i am using h2 tag to do that after the product name we need to show the description of the product and for that i am using a p tag after this let's uh, write the mat divider tag so we can get a separation and then we need to show the other details of the product and i am writing an other div tag to show the product info like the price and the category now let's uh, write the tags to show the product of the price and after this we need to show the category of the product which we can get by writing product dot category name after this let's go to the css file and paste the code for the css you can pause the video and you can copy the css code if you want otherwise you can write your own css let's save this file and let's go to the browser to see the output as you can see we are getting the product image product name product description and product price here and as you can see we are not getting the category name in this response so let's go to our backend application and let's set the category name in the dto in the product dto class let's duplicate this and rename this to category name and we need to change the data type to string after this we can go to our product class and here we need to update the code to set the category name and to do that we can write product dto dot set and here we need to choose category name and we can get this from category dot get name let's rerun our backend application our backend application is up on port 8080 now let's go to the front end application and here we need to add some buttons on the bottom of our mat card and to do that first of all we need to add another mat divider and after this we can create a div uh, with the class of actions and in this div first of all we need to give the button for faqs and for the router link i am giving as slash admin slash faq and then i am passing the product id we will create this router and page in the future after the faq button we need to give the button to update the product and for this update button i am giving router link as slash admin slash product and then i am passing again the product id after the update product button we need to give the button to delete the products and that's it for the buttons let's format this file and let's save it now let's go to the browser and check the output as you can see we are getting now the category of the product and i updated description from the back end so we can get more text now let's go to our back end application and let's create an api to search the products from the name of the product and to create this api first of all we need to go to the product repository and here we need to write one custom method to find the products by the name and this method will return a list of products and let's import this list here 
and the query for this method should be find all by name and then we need to add a keyword of containing and then we need to pass our title in the param i added the keyword containing because if we want to search by just one keyword then it should return all the products even if that keyword is on the end of the title or in the middle of the title now let's go to our admin product service implementation and let's write the service method for this in this service implementation we can copy this get all products method and here we need to rename the method name from get all products to get all products by name and here we need to mention the parameter as string and let's name this as name and now we need to update this method from find all to find all by name containing and then we need to pass our param which is name now let's uh, copy this and mention in admin product service and after this let's go to the admin product controller and let's write the endpoint for this api to write the endpoint we can still copy this method get all products and we need to update the endpoint from products to search slash and here we need to mention the path variable and let's name this as name and after this let's rename the method name and here we need to mention the path variable by giving path variable annotation and the data type for this is a string and let's name this as name now we need to update the method call from get all products to get all products by name and then we need to pass here the name that's it for this api now let's rerun our application As you can see, our application is up on port 8080 without any errors. And that's it for this video. We will write the API call in our Angular application for this endpoint in the next video.